All right, I figured out how to do the uh, last thing, which is the uh, insulation resistance. And uh, I've convinced myself that it's high voltage. <laughs> I shocked myself once. Uh, it's 500 volts, so I've measured it. Uh, it's 500 volts plus, uh, depending on how you set knobs. So uh, it is calibrated to 500 volts. So yes, be very, very careful around 500 volts. Uh, I can tell you right now, it does not feel good. I'm not sure what the current is, but uh, uh, it does not feel good. All right. So um, what we're going to do first is uh, remove uh, the test here. Um, okay, so the way that you use this is there's two settings. There's 5,000 mega ohms and uh, 10,000 mega ohms and calibrate. So you put it on calibrate and uh, you then set the voltage to 500. Uh, so we peg the meter here at 500. And um, then we look at the uh, 65 tube, and you can see that we can turn the calibrate insulation resistance test, and we can make the little seeing eye tube uh, uh, go in and out. Let me zoom in on that a bit. Uh, so as we turn this knob, you can see it changes. So you set it so that it just closes. So right about there it's just closes right okay this is open that's more than closed and this is just touching okay so just touching right about there so we're going to do something like that okay so now we're going to go to one of the settings we'll go to 5000 mega ohms and at 5000 mega ohms it wants you to re-zero this okay so again just touching so there we go we're just touching um now, I, uh, I tried this on other wire, and other wire is perfect, um, so it's hard to do it. But I found this um, bad little wire here that came off an RC airplane. Um, so it's the, the, the uh, servo wires. And they are really cheap Chinese wires and really, really thin resistance and everything. So what we're going to do is we're going to put it on the terminals here. And the terminals do have 500 volts on them, so you have to be careful when you do this. Um, so we will put, put that on, all right, and you see that the, uh, the eye has opened up, okay? So that says there's been some leakage in that wire. And then what it says to do is it says to lower the voltage until you get the same condition where the, the eye tube uh, just goes down. So we're going to go over here to the uh, voltage. We're going to turn that down until we get the eye just just going down or just touching I mean right about there. And then you can read directly on the meter. Um, so this is the 0 to 5000 mega ohms and we're here at about 70 so we're right at about um, 700 mega ohms of uh, leakage in this wire so it does work um, and uh, this wire is very leakage at five very leaky at 500 volts as you would imagine um, it does have a connector on the end too so that might add to it and stuff but uh, uh, I can tell you that uh, you don't want to touch those, is what I did. <laughs> Do not touch the end of the connectors and you will zap yourself. Um, but that's what it does. It puts 500 volts. It measures a very, very tiny amount of current in a bridge uh, circuit. And um, you zero it when it's open, and then you put the leakage on it, and uh, it starts to leak. So you lower the voltage down until you go back to zero so it's not leaking any longer. And uh, it'll tell you what the uh, what the resistance is. So, um, not exactly sure how often people need to use that function. It is an interesting function for sure. Um, and I guess uh, if you're on a ship and you need to know if something's leaky or not, uh, there you go.